Hi everyone, can you hear me okay? Yeah, okay, good. Um, so my name is Roz Cruz and I am the Interim Assistant Curator of Programs here at WICMA. Um, I am so excited that you're here today and we're going to have a very special performance for you. Um, Tash Lama Tashi Norbu has been here for the last week working on all kinds of paintings, leading meditation sessions, and preparing for the performance we're going to see tonight when he is going to tattoo Isaac Rivera, Zapotec and Chinatec, who is a student here at Williams majoring in biology, class of 2026. I'd also like to introduce you to Daisy Rosales, Pueblo Coca, who is a physics major at Williams in class of 2025. Daisy will now smudge Isaac in preparation for the tattoo session. Smudging is a Native American ceremonial practice used to cleanse the energy of a person or a place. This is done by burning sage, traditional plant medicine, and allowing the smoke to be released as medicine as a form of, and as a form of cleansing. Isaac asked Daisy to smudge him in this event because of this special moment in time when two distinct cultures come together. He believes this tattoo will serve as a reminder of the incredible diversity that exists within our global community. And it is a testament to the power of unity and shared experience, transcending boundaries and fostering a sense of connection and understanding among people from different backgrounds. In sharing our culture, we cultivate a greater appreciation for the beauty and wisdom that each culture holds, ultimately enriching our lives and those of the lives around us. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to begin with a land acknowledgement. We, we respectfully acknowledge that Williams College stands on the ancestral homelands of the Stockbridge, Muncie, Banda, Mohican, who are the indigenous peoples of the region now called Williamstown. Following tremendous hardship after being forced from their valued homelands, they continued as a sovereign tribal nation in Uskahasen, which is where they reside today. The Mohegan Nation retains jurisdiction over these lands, which have never been formally ceded to Massachusetts or the U.S., as Mohegan Sesakim John Quinney noticed in 1854 4th of July speech. Nothing that deserved the name of purchase was ever made, and as such, their title has never been extinguished. We acknowledge Mohegan resistance and care for their lands including resistance to land grabs by the Williams family, enslavers, and colonizers who built their wealth and built Williams College from stolen Mohican lands and enslaved black lives. Williams College was constructed by enslaved African labor and continues to build its enormous wealth upon foundations of enslavement and dispossession. And we pay respects to the histories and presence of black life in this region. We acknowledge the immense labor of the Stockbridge Muncie Tribal Historic Preservation Office to care for their lands and ancestors here and enact Mohican futures upon their homelands. We pay honor and respect to Stockbridge Muncie ancestors past and present as we commit to building a more inclusive and equitable space for all. Thank you. Now smudge. Tu eres la danza ancestral de los Benza, la pluma de Zachila, el guerrero vigilante místico del valle que esconde la grandeza de tu espíritu bajo los símbolos del opresor. Eres el hombre que lleva en su pecho el corazón hermano, el danzante de la sangre morena. Con orgullo surcas en el aire la grandeza de tu raza zapoteca. Que esta salvia sagrada te limpie, 
te bendiga y te proteja. Eres el portador de la llama, la chispa que enciende la esperanza de las generaciones futuras, un fallo de resistencia y orgullo. Baila, guerrero zapoteco, celebra la grandeza de tu raza y deja que tu espíritu resuene en las montañas y los valles. Una melodía eterna de libertad y amor. Que tus ancestros te cuiden y te bendigan. May your ancestors watch over you, bless you. You are the ancient dance of the Benza, the sacred plume of Zachila, the mystic warrior, watchful of the valley, that conceals the grandeur of your spirit beneath the symbols of the oppressor. You are the one who carries in their chest the heart of kinship, the dancer of the morena blood. With pride you soar through the air, the greatness of Tujasa Zapotec. May the sacred sage cleanse you, bless you, and protect you. You are the bearer of the flame, the spark that ignites hope in future generations, a beacon of resistance and pride. Dance, Zapotec warrior. Celebrate the greatness of your race, and let your spirit resound through the mountains and valleys an eternal melody of freedom and love.
It has been such an amazing experience working with Tashi this week um, and getting to know his work. I'm just going to share a little bit about it. Um, Lama Tashi Norbu was born in Bhutan. In his first years, he was greatly influenced by his grandparents, who led very spiritual lives. His grandfather told him that he would become a Labri, someone who paints gods and goddesses. This and other experiences with his grandparents left a lifelong impression on Lama Tashi, who received his education at the schools of the Dalai Lama, where he became a traditional Tonka painter and ordained as a monk. He is educated in European Western fine arts in Belgium and the Netherlands. After numerous world travels where his art was exhibited in prestigious museums and galleries, he founded the Museum of Contemporary Tibetan Art in the Netherlands, which is the only museum in the world dedicated to Tibetan art, and is recognized by the Dutch government and registered as one of the national museums of the Netherlands. Lama Tashi now combines art, meditation, and Buddhist teachings. There are so many outstanding partners and participants in this project. For time, I'm going to sort of shorten my list a little bit. And, but I do want to acknowledge um, Alexis Rivasco, who is the owner and operator of AR Designs, Fine Art and Tattoo in North Adams. And without Alexis, this project would not have been possible. Um, she co-authored co a proposal that we took to the Williamstown Board of Health in order to make this happen in the museum. So we're very, very grateful. Um, and I also want to thank um, there's so many people, but I'm just going to skip it because it's time. And thank you for being here. Really glad you're here. Tashi? <clears throat> Hello. Good evening, everyone. 
I'm very happy to be here. Uh, thank you, Rose, for uh, arranging all these uh, uh, amazing uh, activities, artistic activities. And I uh, also want to thank uh, Anna, Lisa, and the uh, whole uh, team who made this uh, event happening, and especially Alexis, <laughs> who is uh, my uh, uh, Tibetan tattoo colleague now. So uh, I'm really happy with uh, to things like this work. And um, I had um, in a Wyoming museum uh, a, a tattoo uh, event arranged, but outside the museum in a tattoo shop. So this is first time um, in the world uh, Tibetan uh, uh, sacred tattoo has been uh, um, practiced as a form of art in a museum uh, in the U USA. So this is, uh, uh, and I'm the only uh, Tibetan monk who is doing tattoo, uh, facing a lot of difficulties <laughs> due to cultural uh, differences. Uh, according to Buddhism, there's a lot of uh, restrictions. And I had to discuss with my Tibetan doctors, astrologers, if this is uh, to be done, uh, allowed to do according to Buddhist concepts. And we figure out that it's, uh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> uh, actually, it is a Western culture. So what I integrated is that the machine, the whole tattoo is your culture. And I integrated with Tibetan uh, um, uh, sacred uh, text, scriptures. So what I do is, uh, <coughs> which uh, according to your um, uh, Buddhist uh, uh, Tibetan astrology, and then I read your chart, your uh, date of birth and the year, and then I make um, uh, your personal Buddhist mantra along with the personal Buddhist symbol of the deity. So it is like, uh, uh, like, like we say, um, when you are sick, you go to the chemist, or you want to go walk somewhere, you want to look for a shoe shop, you get not any shoes, it doesn't fit, right? So you get the right medicine or right shoe to walk. So this is the uh, personal Buddhist mantra is the in according to Buddhism is the right mantra that you that uh, that Buddha was uh, during that time when you were born. So this is like um, the Buddha that is connected with you for uh, many 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 lifetime. Like that Buddha that I painted, the uh, flower Buddha, is um, Buddha Shakyamuni. Um, it has also a Western. Uh, I integrated with Western culture. If uh, if I may explain that. Uh, it's called accepting flower culture. So I was traditional painter. Then I went to study Western art, and I had exhibitions of a combination of art like this. And then uh, at the opening, people bring me flowers, the uh, Western people. And then we, me and my brothers are also monk. <laughs> we felt very bad getting the flowers that look like living for us, you know. And we felt so bad always, like, and then so we don't know what to do. But we, each time, every exhibition, they come and bring flowers. So I have to accept it at the end. <laughs> and, then, so, and then I live in the West, and then I start buying flowers to them. So this is like integration, you know? So that's how this Buddha came into existence. So it has uh, going from, you see the kind of moving into the Buddha. So that, um, that uh, silhouette, the outline is traditional Buddha. It's the correct iconometry, the measurements. And then the way of making it is the Western uh, Europeans and American culture. So that is like an integration. So uh, that's how we could, you could call it uh, contemporary Tibetan art. So, um, and then the um, tattoo is the same like this. Why, how I have to... Uh, combined. I was not a tattoo artist, like many of you. So what I did was a lot of um, Tibet, a uh, lot of Westerners come to me, ask me, can you do this design for me? 
and I do I draw this and then they go to tattoo masters and many times I did that on papers and sometimes I get picture back oh thank you for the one time I saw like it was upside down <laughs> <laughs> Tibetan text you know that neither the tattoo artist <laughs> like, <you know. laughs> like or the uh, receiver could not read it so they put it in a printer it comes out it came out negative <laughs> so the whole one time there was a whole poetry I did draw and it was uh, upside down the whole thing <laughs> <laughs> so then it sounded like out of compassion I studied tattoo <laughs> for me it looks perfect because I'm a monk <laughs> so that's like my tattoo came into existence and then um, uh, I, I studied thoroughly how to do tattoo and it, it became uh, very uh, I tried to integrate this concept of doing the your personal Buddhist deity so then it became really good concept which coming days I will also do at uh, Alexis studio in North Adams so my first initiation for uh, Isaac today uh, I will do that so I'm really happy that he has done this, uh, written to me, his motivations and all. So we selected him from 30 participants. So that was really, uh, and there must be karma between us. So, uh, so for that, I will do a short prayer here for all of you. Que 
سازالا گلا آمانه به مه ها گوا دی نیو دو دا چره سی وان دو جنن دو و چی گم مالی با دی سالا گو با شو او ما ها بزا کرو تو نسی دو او ما ها بزا کرو تو نسی دو او ما ها بزا May all sentient beings be free from suffering. May all sentient beings attain happiness. May be free from all the sufferings and meet with the source of happiness. Thank you.
Chendon Sangue ciò da ciò che sono amla, già giù per due danni che ho sotto, da che ci sono che ho sotto, già giù per due danni che ho sotto, da che ci sono che ho sotto, da che ci sono che ho sotto, già giù per due danni che ho sotto, semmeno 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 Simjian Tamje, Yirin Chada, and you don't have a Tanyum, the Nebar Gurje. Simjian Tamje, the other, the Vigil and Demar Yuji. Simjian Tamje, Dunga, the Dunga, the Kudan Java Yuji. Simjian Tamje, Dunga, the other, the Mindava Yuji. Simjian Tamje, Dunga, Yirin Chada, and you don't have a Tanyum, the Nebar Gurje. E 
everyone to hand like this for the mantra of a long life. If you can recite together with me. Om Amarane Jivan De Soha Om Amarane Jivan De Soha Om Amarane Jivan De Soha Om Amarane your neck for the pure speech. Om Aram Banzanandi Om Aram Banzanandi Om Aram Banzanandi Now, place where you are sick. I often recite these mantras. So I will recite the mantra of uh, Medicine Buddha to heal our physical body and our mental state. Wherever you are sick, touch their organs that you are sick. Om 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for witnessing the Tibetan sacred tattoo. Um, this is basically like a, uh, we perform this as the Tibetan, based on the Tibetan book of the living and dying. So when somebody in Tibet, basically when uh, people uh, die, then we know exactly kind of relating to the date of birth. I don't know how old I am. <laughs> for example, <laughs> uh, I'm in, the, in my 40s. Um, we are born in the Himalayas, no? so there's no, what you call that? We don't have to inscribe. <laughs> so, uh, so what happens is uh, this kind of tattoo is, uh, uh, or uh, the concept of doing your personal Buddha and personal Buddhist mantras are done when somebody has died in, in the Himalaya, Tibet, then we read there, that day he's, de he's dead. So we calculate according to that, then he goes to the next life and all that. And um, when somebody is, uh, uh, you can finish it. <laughs> it's, it's okay. We are closing soon, right? No. Uh, you can uh, continue to finish it. I will just explain a little bit. <clears throat> uh, in his case, there's a Vajra, you see the Vajra, it's uh, like this. <clears throat> this is his design I have made. Om Brum Swaha, I was reciting this mantra. While I'm doing that. So this is like um, uh, people uh, when uh, when they die, and then we read their chart. So we make their personal Buddha, his uh, tanka or a statue. Uh, you can ask me if you have any, uh, want to know about your personal chart or something. So this statue can be small, big, very big. I have made my own temple. I have made a very big one of my own personal Buddha. <laughs> it's a Manjushri temple in Dharamsala. Um, so you can make this statue or a tanka. It's very essential for your life. That uh, it can lead your life, next life, so that you don't become mistakenly zebra or something. Yeah? It's uh, human life is very difficult to get. Once it's like a mindfulness. You have to be always in mindful. Like for example, if you are not mindful you can crash your car, right? Then it's done. Same thing, when we die, our soul wanted to come back because we are so attached to this beautiful life we have. So, moment that you die, you are so scared in that world. Um, and then you want to come back and then you just try to jump. You see that you thought that's a human being. But, connection or intercourse of a human being, but you jump in and mistakenly, it, it was like hippopotamus or something. 
You just jump in and then that's it. 60 years of being a hippo or something. Then you, your wisdom decreases, you see. Your, your why wisdom, if you become like animal for some time, you, you forget, you lose the connection. So these things are, it's um, something that we, we have questions. It's not about Buddhism. It's a science, our mind, our quest. We all don't know what is happening if, when we die. Some people know, go to heaven if you do good. Not good, maybe go to hell. But there's something in between, right? It's called bardo in Tibetan. Bardo, right? Intermediate state. That we don't know. For those purposes, I do the sacred uh, Tibetan tattoo. So that it's something like your culture, but in our culture, we just make the Buddha, your personal Buddha, you, you read the astrology chart, and then the monks do these prayers for the next 40, 49 days after the death. Because we, after death, we just skip it. We only count nine months in the mother's womb. We receive them, we celebrate. I mean, whole village, you make party. The son or the daughter comes out. <laughs> but when we die, that, then, then, <laughs> there, that space, that takes 49 days, the soul to travel and to find really the next life. If you, you, you all agree with it because we don't want to die, no? If it's nice, say, hey, who wants to die? Hey, <laughs> nobody volunteered, no? So it's, um, it's something that you can read a Tibetan book of the dying and you know, Tibetan book of the death, like this. It will help. I'm saying this because now we are, we all faced, each and every one of us due to COVID. Each and every one has somebody died, right? Many of them, many of you. My mother died last year. And many of you. So I do this purposely speak about it because this happens, you know. So uh, it's very difficult to come over, get over with when your mother dies, you know. It's uh, very difficult to recover, you know. So for me, this is like um, that I could help other beings who are into this state of mind at this, these difficult times. So you can uh, read. There are many people who ask me, can you help do a prayer for my mother, prayer for my friend who is very sick at this moment. What you can do is look for Tibetan Book of the Death and order that, read, read them to your friend. You can read, you can help this. So this is, uh, yes, our uh, result. So uh, that's great. That looks beautiful. That is beautiful. Wow. Thank you, Alex, for helping me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you for your being here, big presence. Rose, thank you for, uh, we should clap for Rose. <laughs> and uh, Alexis and Rose made this happen with the support of the museum. It, uh, Rose told me all the stories, how difficult to make this happen. This is the first ever performance of Tibetan sacred tattoo in the whole world. So this is happened in the Williams College Museum of Art. So thank you, the museum members. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Our, he was amazing, right? <laughs> Craig Douglas, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah. And uh Ming Chen Lee, thank you. Emily Duku, thank you. 
these musicians are so good that I want to work with them. <laughs> I might come back to Willemstown often. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, This is awesome. I, yeah, that was, that was a spiritual journey uh, for me, so it was fantastic. I'm very happy that all of you got to share that with me, and I'm very happy to have just, I'm honored to have received this tattoo. So thank you, Natasha. Thank you. Uh, our filmmaker, thank you very much. Uh, I would like uh, Alexis to say a few words. <laughs> you have, uh, she has helped technically how things work with Rose. And I'm going to stay a few till the 16th of uh, May in her studio. In, uh, so if you want, anyone wants to have tattoo, I'm there. But first uh, I will go to Mexico uh, tomorrow. I'm, I'm invited by the um, uh, former president of uh, Mexico and the uh, princess of Philippines. They have created a Himalaya event. So I have to go there and make almost similar like this, but we make sand mandala with a few other monks together. We do prayers. And 1st of May, I'm back here in your wonderful town. And then um, uh, I'm here doing tattoos from the 6th of May, so, uh, opening of some ex artworks I'm showing there. These are my artworks. I'm very thankful to the museum that I can put them on. And uh, along with my Buddha like that in the main, main exhibition. So these are my artworks, so I've been doing that. So I will show at uh, Alexis uh, Art and uh, Tattoo Studio. And then I'm gone for uh, on the 6th of June. I have this uh, performance in the Carnegie Hall. If anybody is uh, in New York, please come there. Uh, I have a, a performance with some of the musicians like Earth, Wind and Fire, like that. So we are, <laughs> so uh, I didn't know they were so big, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> And um, Paul Pesco is a guitar player uh, who is uh, to Madonna and all that. And then, yeah, like that. So um, I'm very happy to be here. And um, Alexis, can you say a few words? I'm also very happy to be here. I'm just grateful to be involved. The Ross reached out for me, and uh, I'm happy to help always. And like you know, she said, he will be having an opening at the studio, and he will be tattooing there until the 16th? 16th. So I'm yes. excited to be here. I'd yeah. like to thank uh, Williams College and the museum for having me. Yes, we could not do much uh, advertisement for this that week, uh, 1st May till uh, 16th of May, because I was busy here with uh, Rose. I'm following her orders. Go there, come here, <laughs> Lisa, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we have uh, Rebecca, uh, all the museum members, <laughs> and Anna. <laughs> I was like, like army. I was running here and there. So please, if you have just come there in our sixth uh, of May, at her place in uh, North Adams, we will do a ceremony, also opening. Just come together and gather. So it will be nice to see you all again.